G'day you bloody legends, today we are talking about silhouette photos from your phone and we're going to use the new masking tools in Adobe Lightroom. Let's get into it. This video was brought to you by the iPhoneography podcast, the sweetest smelling podcast in the world. Silhouette photos are harder and harder and harder to get these days as phone technology, the cameras in them become better and better and better. The dynamic range of these new cameras are just amazing. It's really hard to actually draw the shadows into shadow without bringing out the details like it is in this photo right here. So what we're gonna to do to fix this is use the masking tool in Adobe Lightroom. Let's get straight into it. So here we have the photo right now in Adobe Lightroom Mobile. And you can see there when I zoom in there on Sarah, you can see a lot of detail in the, in the shadows there because well, the dynamic range is just so bloody good. This is a photo taken when we walk our dog in the afternoon. She's an old dog, this one here. She's probably eight, nine years old, I think she is. She's got a bit of arthritis and stuff. So we don't walk her in the mornings when we walk the other two because they're a bit more athletic and she's just a bit slower. Um, so we just like to look after her that way. Anyway, so what we're gonna do is two different tools here. We're going to use masking tools, but we wanna try and keep the sun, the sunset on those clouds there exactly as it is right now. So what we're gonna do is go to masking. It's over there on the bottom left-hand side. Hit masking, hit the plus button, and we're going to select the subject. So select subject, it's gonna do its little computational magic there. And it's almost there but for this photo here it's pretty well good enough i'm going to go now to light and i'm going to decrease that exposure just a lot just to, just enough if we go too far so if i look if i zoom in there on sarah you can see it's just a little bit of detail there what i'm going to do is get the blacks and just reduce the blacks just that little bit the reason we do it that way is if i just go straight down with exposure it looks a little bit too fake it looks like it's, if I zoom out again, looks like we've just got a, a silhouette or something and stuck it on the photo, and that just doesn't work for me. So I'm bringing that exposure back up to a reasonable level, zoom back in. You can just see some detail. Go back down to that blacks and just reduce it just a little bit and zoom back out. Much better, in my opinion. Next, what we're going to do is fix up that foreground there, that gravel that's in there. We're going to make that dark as well. So the whole lot looks like a silhouette. So we go to masking, hit the plus button, and you can see there we've got a few options here. We've got brush, linear gradient, radial gradient, color range, and so forth. What we're going to do is, you can use a linear gradient, this one right here, and I can bring it up just like that. And this works pretty well when the ground is nice and flat. But I don't know if this will work here because the grass is moving uh, up and down sort of thing. It's not a dead set straight line. We'll see how it works. I'll go to that level there, hit light, Drop the exposure, we're doing exactly the same thing. Drop the exposure, go into blacks, and drop the blacks. So I want a little bit of detail in there, very, very slight, so that people look down there and go, oh, is there something there or not? Uh, hit the tick, and we can see we've still got a little bit there. So I'm gonna try one more, go with the brush tool, hit the brush, and I'm just going to paint over the area that I want to make sure is colored a darker color. And we're gonna do exactly the same thing again. Uh, exposure down, blacks down and that's about all I want to do with it hit the tick and that's the photo um, I'll put this on Instagram and a few people ask me there how did you do that well this is how I did it that's it for today guys I'll catch you later